for the first time in months, I'm bringing back BitLife Controls My Sims to my channel. Except I'm gonna do it in my own unique way. You guys know that I have attempted this multiple, multiple times, and I always stop. And that is because I was trying so, so hard to replicate how other YouTubers were doing it, how people in my comments were telling me to do it. But I just wanna do it in the way that I do it, and I wanna have fun with it. So this is officially the start of a new series on my channel, and I hope you guys enjoy. Come become a patron and join the Patreon community where you can get exclusive videos that will not be posted onto YouTube and unlock early access to my new podcast, Lost and Loud. So how I'm gonna approach this is I'm starting off with just creating my bit life. And this is going to be the parents of the person we're actually gonna live our life as. So I just kind of randomized it, of course. So here we have Buddy Pratt. He is a male from United States, Baltimore. Our special talent is acting, so that is interesting. Our appearance, I'm going to keep our appearance, so we kind of have like clown hair-ish, I guess you could say. And we have brown eyes, brown hair. So that is our appearance. I'll try to replicate it in the game. And these are our attributes. So I'm gonna take these attributes, I'm gonna take the special talents and try to recreate the father in the game. Okay, so here is Mr. Buddy Pratt. I tried to make him look as artsy as I could. He's got the luscious locks with the brown hair and he has the fall outfit aesthetic. Let's give him a 360. Let's go. So now all we have to do is create his attributes. So let's pick an aspiration. So he's an actor, so we'll do creativity. Since we can't technically do acting, maybe we could just be an artist in general. So maybe a painter. So likes and dislikes. Let's say likes guitar, likes cooking, likes fitness because they're handsome. They probably work out a lot. They like singing and they like writing. Um, dislike rocket science and dislike programming, I guess. <laughs> so before we choose the sim attributes, let's double check our bitizens attributes. So they don't have good discipline. They're very happy, very healthy. They don't have good karma. They have good looks. They have high smarts and they don't have the best willpower. So I will try to take that all into account while picking the sim attributes. They did have high happiness. So let's just say they're cheerful. They are very smart, so maybe we could do genius. Let's just do loyal. So now that I've created Mr. Buddy, I have to find him a wife. So we're gonna start Buddy's life in bit life, and I'm just going to age until we're like 25-ish. And then we're going to look for a girlfriend that we are going to marry. So I'm actually aging now until we are old enough to start acting lessons. I'm going to have us become an actor. And then we're going to find a wife. <laughs> okay, our mother agreed to let us take acting lessons. Perfect. So we're just going to do that every single year while we do this life. Our mom got us a freaking Mercedes Benz. Thank you. And now we'll officially be able to sell it so we have money for a freaking agent. Okay, we're going to take time off and we are going to start our acting career. So we are going to look for a talent agent right away. No, okay, too good to be true. So we're just taking work as an extra. You guys already know how to do this. And if you haven't, make sure you go watch my past videos about the whole actor job pack. How was I actually able to get an agent? I've only done two acting jobs. Their commission is 11%, I don't care. And their famous client is Alicia Silverstone, higher. I got an audition for a bit role in Stairway to Stars. Audition. <laughs> wasn't offered. I got another one. Okay, the white locust audition. I got it. Except I will not negotiate. I'm not losing that. I will go to the Grand Canyon. Be patient with everybody. And I'm a freaking famous actor, period. So I'm officially 30 and I have made it to have 900,000 in the bank. So I'm going to try and find my wife so we can create her in The Sims. So I am just going to probably randomize this. Honestly, doesn't matter. And I'm going to randomize it 10 times. So here's Keisha Velasquez, the dating app has paired you with a young woman named Keisha. So I'm going to ask her out on a date. Perfect. <laughs> so I'm going to see if we can make love with her and get pregnant. So Keisha is officially pregnant, as you guys can say, pregnant, yes. And the only discrepancy is that in The Sims, you can't control what gender baby you have. So how I'm going to approach this is instead of finding out the bit life gender first and then trying to recreate it in The Sims, I'm just gonna have our Sim be pregnant, have the Sim give birth to find out the gender and then age in bit life and then close the app until we get the same gender as the one that was in The Sims. And then we're actually gonna start the official bit life controls my Sims with the baby because you got to do all this to lead up to it sweetie so i officially have keisha pratt aka buddy's wife now we could technically have the infant i never realized this you can actually create an infant i swear you couldn't do this before but i guess now that we can do this 
let me age in bit life. Okay, so we actually have a daughter. Our wife, Keisha, just gave birth to a baby girl, Samantha. So now I can just create the attributes I want. Oh my God, her special talent is crime. Oh no. <laughs> Does this mean we're living a life of crime? We might have to. Oh my gosh, her attributes. She's crazy. She's happy. She's healthy. She has good looks, good smarts. She's got everything. Okay, Samantha. Yeah, I guess we have to live a life of crime. So, Miss Samantha. Oh my God, she's so cute though. Oh my God, a little spin. I love her overalls. So how shall I approach this? Definitely intense because they did have a crazy trait. So I have officially moved us into one of the very, very expensive apartments in the game. It is in Uptown, the luxurious heart of the city, home to the rich, powerful, and slightly odd. So it is officially time that we go to our daughter, Samantha, and I switch to Samantha's life. So I am Samantha Pratt. My father, Buddy Pratt, switched over all his energies and earthly possessions to me. So I'm a little baby already with 500 grand. <laughs> So that's saying something. I'm doing something right. So now am I able to switch to actually just being the baby? Oh my gosh, I can. Why am I giving such a side eye? <laughs> I really said bombastic side eye to my dad. So what can we even do as a baby in The Sims? Why do I look so evil? That's actually kind of terrifying. Can I ask my mom to see if I can be put down? Crawl here. Oh my God, the way she yeeted me to the floor. Look at me go, just crawling on the floor. Like I own the place. But let's do a little apartment tour while Samantha does her thing. This is like a chef's apartment or something. So it's so schmancy, like red walls. We have the bougie fridge. Like we have a huge workplace island as well as so much counter space tops, literally hanging pans. And then we have a second island to eat on. That is crazy. Then you come here. This is the front entrance, obviously. So we have like a place for our clothes. We have a little hallway table with like our books and mirror. Then a little guest bathroom. Bathroom. Oh my gosh, what did I do? What is the kid doing? How did the kid make money? What did you do? Anyways, back to the house tour. This I assume is the master bedroom because there's literally a chase in here and a fireplace, unless that's Samantha's room. I don't know, but this is a four bedroom place. So I wouldn't be surprised if we did have like a mansion of some sort for every room. Oh my gosh, look at our view. Oh my gosh, skyscrapers, literally the ocean. There's mountains, so it's a pretty decent room. Okay, so this is the living area. So we have like a TV, we have the couches. Oh my God, mom is running, good to see. Samantha's there just being a little shit disturber. Go Samantha, go, crawl like your life depends on it. We have a little reading area, this beautiful kitchen like I mentioned. And this is the dining room, aka we have hutches here with China. We have our nice dining room table, some artwork of course. And then here is another bedroom. I I assume this is a kid's room because it has more friendly colors, but literally every single room has this insane view. This one's even nicer because it has some nature in it. Oh my gosh. And our mom is just on the computer. She's gaming. Now we have a, this room has a bathroom in it. Are you kidding? Oh my gosh. This bathroom is bigger than my actual bedroom. Are you kidding? It has a double vanity sink, a blue bathtub up against the mountain view. And this is a child's bedroom. Now we have another bedroom. So I guess we'll see if we have any siblings. I don't think we will because I already switched lives and I don't think our parents will have more kids. Oh, but this is a shared bathroom. Okay, that makes sense why it's a double vanity thing. And then it leads into this, oh my gosh, a walk-in closet with a full length mirror. That is crazy. This house is insane. Well, let's see where Samantha is. Oh my gosh, I'm stinky. Why aren't my parents taking care of me? Okay, let's ask my dad. Help me, please. You're my father, you're supposed to take care of me. Okay, so I'm feeling a whole range of emotions. I'm playful, but also extremely sad. And my needs are not really being met. Okay, I need to go to the bathroom. So I need to ask my mom to... There is no bathroom option. Okay, well, do I have to go to the bathroom to do that? I think I might, honestly. Well, let's just see what happens in bit life. So our favorite activity, you're learning to do new things with your body and are trying to decide which activity is the most fun. What will you choose? Walking backward, scribbling with crayons, swaying to music, or throwing food on the floor. So maybe we can have like our parents cook something and then we play with the food. So let's maybe do throwing food on the floor. So I'm gonna ask our mom if we can get fed. Get fed by Keisha. 
Oh my gosh, I'm angry. I am an angry child. This is terrifying. Why am I so angry? Hangry from low hunger. Feed her before the hunger gets worse. I need to keep up with my needs. I also need sleep. I'm so angry. Tragedy has struck. The thing Samantha wants is just out of reach. From being stuck? Do I want to not be carried right now? Is that why? Where's my baby bed? Did my parents not make sure I have a child toddler bed? Are you kidding? Okay, we gotta change this. And there's no like toddler toilet. Okay, we're selling that and we're getting now a bed for a little kid because what is happening? Okay, so I officially have a bed now and I have a potty. So let's see if this makes it better. Only toddlers can use this. Wait, do I need a crib? Okay, so this is what I need, an actual crib crib. Okay, well, I'm gonna put it in my parents' master bedroom. We're gonna go right up against the window. Finally now, get put to bed by Buddy. And finally, we're getting put to bed. Thank you. I smell though, you guys are horrible parents. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna get taken away. I can't even sleep. I'm hungry too. I feel so bad. You're just singing to me. You're supposed to take care of me. Try to go night night. We need rest. We need rest. Oh my gosh, they're taking me. Where are you taking me? You just hold me for fun without doing anything. Okay, we're getting fed now. Good, good. Then we're actually gonna be able to go to bed. Then we need to change our diaper, but like there's no option for that. Do I need to go to the bathroom? Let's just sleep because I can't handle this. Being a baby in The Sims is giving me anxiety. Oh my gosh, I have a private chef. Or is that my husband's mistress? Excuse me, who are you? Why are you in my house? Who's Tina and why do you look like you're very much enjoying yourself? We can get a bath. Guys, this all makes sense now. And we can cure the hygiene problem because we're so smelly. Okay, this is a disaster. My diaper's on the floor. My wife peed herself. I'm just sitting here stinky. I quit. I don't even know what went wrong, but that is episode one of our Bit Life Controls Our Sims. This was more so of the introductory episode where I create parents, then create the child. And I'm wondering if I can get rid of the parents after this because they're just getting in my way. I'm like asking them, hey guys, can you give me a bath? And they're just like, no. And then our mom pees herself. I thought she was supposed to be the parent, not the baby, but apparently not. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you hit the like button if you want to see part two where we actually go into depth of Samantha Pratt's life. I'm so excited that this series is making a comeback to my channel and I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.